Well, here at the Battery Show in Novi, Michigan, and with me is Jim Kramer, the driver of this electric-powered um, Bigfoot beast. And uh, I think that probably Jim has got some interesting perspectives to share with us on what it's like to drive an electric monster truck. Jim, tell us about that. Well, it's a, first of all, let's talk about a concept. You know, we, we have 10 Bigfoot trucks, alcohol-powered, make a lot of horsepower, and we run all over the country. And uh, Bob Chandler had this idea, you know, we, we need to do an electric truck. We need to step up and get out there. This is the wave of the future. We need an electric truck. So we built this truck. You know, we build monster trucks all the time, so that's easy part. So we had to build it. There's two sets of rules, though. Monster Truck Racing Association rules for safety and also EV and NHRA rules. And that's what we did. The, the electrical part, we haven't done it before. It was a little bit more difficult. We got some help from a man in uh, Phoenix, Arizona, Dennis Berube. Actually did the engine and controller for us. And our guys wired it all up. And uh, here it is. It's very functional. It runs about a half hour in a charge. Right now I'm putting out about 400 horsepower in about... Uh, Oh, about 800 foot-pounds of torque, so it very easily climbs cars and vans, and it'll do 40 miles an hour down the highway. That would go faster if I had a round tire. The tires aren't, you know, they're agricultural tires, so they're a little hard to control. But it's been a very good concept for us, and um, the componentry in the motor, I mean, it's rated for 1,600 electrical horsepower, so we have a long way to go with it. And we see when we battery up, and because and, and, we're doing this in steps. And this is the baby step, first one, get the bugs out of it, get it drivable, get it functional, which it is. Now we'll battery up and take it to the next level. We want to be able to achieve a level where we actually race with the alcohol-powered trucks. Oh, that's really pretty interesting. That'd be cool to see, too, as well. And uh, Jim was telling me a little bit about how quiet this is compared to the alcohol-powered one and how uh, much easier it is to control, right? It is very, very easy to control. You know, you have a 16 or 1,500 horsepower alcohol engine. It's, it's, it wants to jump out of its skin all the time. And you race in a corner, you barely touch the gas, and it wants to jump you off the track. And this thing is so smooth, you can bring the power in. And, and even at these power levels that we have now, it's proven that it can be faster because it's smoother. You know? Well, that makes a lot of sense. So, um, we look for, when we do power up, um, uh, Anderson's Corporation, Odyssey Batteries are helping us out with this project. And it's been a fun project to do. And we see nothing but uh, good things coming from it. Plus, you know what, we're going to save the environment a little bit, but we're not going to quit having fun, you know. <laughs> it's, we feel that, uh, yeah, everybody has to get greener, everybody has to protect the planet a little more, but it doesn't have to be hard all the time. you got to do it in fun ways also. And this is going to be fun for a lot of people to watch, and, and maybe there will be a future class of electric trucks, and I think there will be. Yeah, you never can tell. I think there probably will be too. So there you have it. It was inevitable, you know, with electric vehicles and lithium-ion batteries and the technology that's been with us now for about almost 20 years. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, watch the electric power Bigfoot truck, and uh, we're all going to have some fun with this. Yeah, Jim, you know, tell them to watch it because they won't hear it. You heard that, right? Watch it, you won't hear it. <laughs>